Good evening or good morning whenever you guys are watching this video. Thanks for coming back for another video. Hopefully you guys are having an awesome week. And we're going to be feeding some of the ball pythons and Mountain Dew, the green anaconda. But first I just want to show you this lady right here. We have not seen her in quite some time and she is obviously doing well and she is alive. So I uh, just want to show her off to you guys and I'm really starting to like... Uh, I've always kind of liked the colubrids, the uh, the corn snakes, the king snakes, but I never really dove into them and, and, and bought too many of them. But this one is probably one of my highly favorable uh, king snakes since it is jet black, all black uh, body, belly, black eyes, black tongue. There's literally no pattern on this snake at all other than the natural scale pattern. But there are black boas which i'm sure a lot of you guys are aware of that the imgs and then you can mix other genes into them where they go very very dark but even the darkest img boa from what i have witnessed under certain lighting or in the sun you can still see the patterns of the boa um, saddles and whatever else is mixed into it uh, so you never truly, I don't, I mean, this is my personal opinion. I don't think I've ever seen a completely 100% full on jet black boa that you can put in the light and you don't see any extra patterns at all on them. I could be wrong, but this is just full from what I have seen. So that's why I really like the black Mexican king snake because like I said, it's jet black. The one thing that I also like about these snakes is, and not just this one, but basically all king snakes is uh, they're pretty much immune to the venom from other uh, species which I think is phenomenal so I wouldn't say her at her size but uh, definitely when she's an adult she could consume uh, copperheads uh, water moccasins and I, I do believe I even saw a picture of um, one of these and now she's like <laughs> wrapped up into my shirt, uh, eating a, uh, a a rattlesnake. So not really sure on the size of the rattlesnake, but it, it's very fascinating to me that, uh, you know, it's just, just a common pet, but yet they can, they can eat some of those venomous uh, snakes in, you know, America, which is wild. So just wanted to highlight her really fast and show you guys her because we have not seen her in quite some time. And uh, I am feeding her uh, wrap ups or just a little bit lower than wrap ups. So she's eating very well. And it's just interesting to see a snake that this size can eat a pretty large meal. So we'll put her away and then we'll feed the, uh, the other snakes. All right, so Mountain Dew over here is she is getting uh, some very nice size on her. And you can see the colorations on her very, very vibrant green. And we saw Pop Tart. Uh, the other day outside. I would like to take her outside at some point um, and show off her natural colors as well. But we're not going to look at Oliver today. That's the male anaconda. He is very dark, very olive green, and he does not have the very nice vibrant uh, oranges behind the eyes. So we'll go ahead and we'll feed her. So it's one of the interesting things that Pop-Tart and uh, Mountain Dew here has, has very nice um, yellows and oranges behind the eye bands. And then Oliver does not. So she is getting a small, I should probably feed her a medium, but I'll give her another uh, small when she is done with that. I do need to pick up some more mediums uh, from John. And we'll come over here and we will swing the light around and then we'll feed some ball pythons. So I just opened up her tub and she had a massive poop right here. So I had to clean that up very quickly and I will re-clean her cage here shortly. So this is the Super Mojave and she just shed out and we can see that she has beautiful blue eyes. I actually think I like the Super Mojaves better than the full-blown Blue Eye Lucy because they are in the same uh, complex. And I, mean, I just really like the whites and the yellows and then the, the gray on top of her head. And of course she still has the very nice blue eyes. So 
she's definitely getting up into size. I do have a male Mystic Potion that um, I might like to feed. Oh, I didn't know she was bleeding. Got some blood on her eye. So I, I would like to breed possibly a Mystic Potion with her to see what happens. And she's pretty picky about eating. She, uh, she normally doesn't eat off the tongs, but she will eat when I close the, the bin. And then when I check on her, she uh, does very well when I come back if, if there's no food in there. So this girl right here is close to a thousand grams of the pastel clown. She should be shedding out in the next couple days or so. And I'm still feeding all of these uh, well, that's over here. So these are all on small rats, even though they are um, getting up there in, in size. And when she sheds, her colors will be a little bit more vibrant, but you know, it, it's the typical ball python. And uh, she's faded out in coloration, which is why a lot of people don't like the pastel stuff. Because if you mix it with some really cool stuff, it can fade out. But I have seen some really, really awesome uh, combos with pastel in them that uh, I just think they look phenomenal. So uh, she should be a good breeder uh, in the future. And this is a butter clown. So again, almost all of these girls that we're feeding uh, right now are over 900 grams. This is very exciting. And the albino, I do have a male uh, for her. But it's just interesting because she doesn't look that big. But when, but when I weighed her, she was... Um... All right, let me put this sideways for you. <laughs> when I weighed her, she was like 940 grams. And that was a while ago. So she doesn't really look that big compared to this black pastel female. And she's around a little over 900. So it's just kind of interesting how both of them kind of weigh the same and they just look completely different on the body tone. But very, very excited for these to grow. This girl right here, uh, she went off of Frozen Thought a couple meals ago and I've been feeding her live. So she has been eating. I just have not tried to put her back on Frozen Thawed. But I'm going to very soon. Like, I'm going to try that again. Because uh, I want her on Frozen Thought. I don't like feeding her uh, lives. So this girl right here, and we're not feeding this one. This male just shed. This is an Orange Dream Leopard Enchi Pied. And this male right here should, hopefully, breed with her. Even though this is just a normal uh, pied, I really think that that could push out some good combos, even with just having a single pied female in here. So, so the orange ghost, super enchi. Let's see if she is hungry and she has beautiful green eyes. I really like her colors, the, the yellows to the grays to the whites. I just think she looks phenomenal. And we will move her because we're going to feed the red tail uh, boa. And this is the Serenam red tail boa. And she's getting a uh, smallish, a little bit bigger of a smallish uh, rat. And you see her tail is very nice red, beautiful uh, patterns and saddles on her. And that is it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys on the next one.